Hey guys, got a Labor Day project here. I got a bunch of stuff in from a huge shipment of parts and pieces from a guy's entire RC collection the other day, and a couple of us were talking about uh, what to do with some of the parts, and we decided that uh, there was a SCX10 chassis in that in that pile of things, and rather than just try and sell the chassis outright, we figured we would do uh, one of the Roncho conversions. I've got a bunch of Wraith axles sitting around, and a honcho body, and a ton of other spare parts. So Howard and I are here today, and we're going to uh, take this SCX10 chassis and convert it to uh, the Wraith style using Wraith axles. We're also just going to swap out that skid plate for a Wraith skid plate, use Wraith links, and those type of things, and then we'll make new chassis cross braces to uh, widen the chassis back out to the, the proper width. So we'll go over all that. To fit the Wraith skid into the SCX10 frame rails, that we're gonna remove this outside lip that sits there on the Wraith skid so that it sits centered into the uh, C channel of the uh, frame. Rail. All right, Howard, uh, sanded that the side of the skid plate smooth. However, when fitting that into the side uh, into the side rail of the SCX10 chassis, it still doesn't want to sit perfectly level because of the taper on the bottom of this Wraith skid plate. So what we're going to do is going to come in there and uh, make kind of a channel or a uh, flat spot along that first quarter inch or so of this Wraith skid plate. All right. Uh, Howard modified the skid plate to fit into the SCX10 chassis how we wanted it to. Now the next thing is to re-drill these side plates to fit the Wraith skid plate better. I'm going to use the existing furthest hole back on the uh, SCX10 skid or SCX10 frame rails to match into the furthest hole back on the Wraith skid plate. And then I've marked off the rest of the holes just by matching this up and uh, marking them with a sharpie. So I'm going to go through and center punch these holes and then uh, drill them out on the drill press. All right, we've got all the holes drilled now and we can bolt up the skid plate to the SCX10 chassis and then we'll uh, start looking at cross braces, link placement, and things like that. All right, now that we have the skid plate into the chassis, we're going to use some stock Wraith links that I have here to uh, set our wheelbase and all of that. Okay, I've got all the uh, stock links. These are links off a kit Wraith, so there's aluminum lowers and then the uh, plastic uppers for now. I'm going to go ahead and mount up the front axle and get, all, get it all in place and then I'll start uh, mocking up shocks and the uh, transmission, drive lines, all that kind of thing just to make sure that everything's clearing fine before we start making our new uh, chassis cross braces so that we don't cause any conflicts. Have the front axle all mocked up in place. Uh, looking at the position of where the bumpers and cross braces and things like that went, the all the stock locations are pretty much uh, in interference with the upper links now so I'm going to install the upper shock mount or the shock mounts and then probably run a cross brace between the two shock mounts that way I keep full suspension uh, flex capable with uh, without ever having any interference or anything like that um, it'll be a much easier situation and the other thing that we'll have to figure out is what we're going to do for a front cross brace to allow this servo to clear because the front bumper mount that was previously on there will no longer fit. So I'm um, gonna bolt these in there, just going to use some three millimeter screws with nuts on the back to bolt the shock towers to the chassis rather than using the uh, cross brace like what was in there before. Axles and suspension are all mounted up here. Uh, as far as shocks go, I've got some axial four inch shocks that I'm going to use and uh, get everything bolted up, see how the suspension flexes and everything and then I'm going to go ahead and make all of our chassis cross braces and all right axles and, and uh, shocks everything are mounted up now I was taking a look at the cross braces in the rear I measured to a uh, three and a half inch cross brace to it'll be a little bit wider than the stock cross brace um, and that is we're just doing a simple round court this is quarter inch Delrin cut it down on the lathe and then drilled and tapped it to to give us the uh, the spacing and then 
for additional cross braces we're going to do between the shock towers just because of how the axle and upper links come up when the suspension flexes those existing ones would interfere so uh, this one's three and a half and then these are going to be three about three inches give or take well i was hoping to get this done in one video but not going to happen um, anyway i've got all those cross braces made put in the truck that made the chassis complete, uh, other than our front bumper situation, which I talked about earlier. Um, I mocked up some axial rip saws on the XR10 bead locks. Uh, that's what I'll be using on this truck. Just something simple and easy, and uh, they look good. They'll they'll match the truck, the whole deal. Um, I did end up swapping out those the longer four inch shocks, which I thought were going to be a better fit for some SCX10 shocks. Uh, the ride height otherwise was just way too up in the air, and it looked like a monster truck. So. Um, wasn't really a big fan of that but we got those new shocks on there and it lowered it down quite a bit so um, I've just got the body sitting on here for now I'll decide the final position of it and then I will make my new body mounts in the rear I'm going to do some sort of uh, an aluminum plate back there because I want to run a larger 2.2 size spare rather than the uh, stock 1.9 size and that stock tray in the rear won't accommodate a tire that large so uh, I'm gonna do something a little custom back there and then that will also allow me to mount the body um, in my own way as well which will also make things a little bit easier so that's the plan I will knock out the rest of that little bit of fabrication in the next video hopefully I'll get that done in the next couple of days I'll try and get this up for you guys tonight still and that's about all I got so we'll see you guys later and check back for this hopefully in the next couple of days